Getting an accurate value for hip length is the key to correct estimation for your roof covering. That's why in this video I've prepared two methods to help roofers, carpenters and students to be able to clearly understand how to calculate hip length for all roofs of all sizes easily. First of all, let's clearly understand these parts of a hip roof. One, we have the common rafters. We have the jack rafters. We have the ridge board. We have the end common rafters. And we have the hip rafters, which are our main concern. Method one involves calculating hip length using rafter length and half span. Once you have these two measurements, the common rafter length and the half span, these make up three sides of a right angle triangle. This is the common rafter length. This is the half span and the third side which is the required hip length. When we extract this from the main frame and use Pythagoras theorem, we shall get the length of the third side. Assuming our half span is 2.4 meters and the rafter length is 3.1, after using Pythagoras theorem, the length of our hip will be 3.92 meters. Method 2 involves calculating hip length using half span and pitch angle. When you don't have the rafter length, don't worry, you can still use the pitch angle and half span. The first step is to find the rise per meter run. We get this by simply getting tan of your roof angle. For example, if your roof pitch angle is 40 degrees, this will be tan of 40 degrees which will give us 0.839 meters. This means for every meter run, your roof rises by 0.839 meters or 839 millimeters. This means for one meter run, your roof will rise by 0.83 meters. For a two meter run, your roof will rise by 1.678. For three meter run, your roof will rise by 2.517 meters. Step two involves finding out the plan length of the hip per meter run. Assuming side A is one meter and side B is also one meter. This makes our hip length per meter run as 1.414 meters when you use Pythagoras theory. The third step is to find out the length of our hip per meter run. With the rise per meter run as 0.839 and our plan length per meter run as 1.414, we can determine the true length of our hip using Pythagoras theorem. And this will be 1.414 squared plus 0.839 squared which will give us 1.643. So 1.643 is the approximate true length of our hip per meter run. The fourth step which is the final step is to multiply your true length per meter run with your half span. Taking our half span to be 2.4 meters as previously used, this will be 2.4 multiplied by 1.643 which will give us 3.94. We can make this 4 meters as the rest will be cut. 4 meters is the final length of our hip we need. Remember to add the length of the eave if needed. In summary, we now know that when determining the length of the roof hip, we can either use the half span and the pitch angle, or we can use the rafter length and the half span. We used both methods and we got 4 meters as the length of the hip. That's the end of our today's video, I hope you get something from it. Our recent video was about how to calculate the rafter length, watch that video, it's very very essential. Subscribe to watch more videos, more upcoming videos about construction. Thank you so much for watching.